Hi guys, Gabi from Your Path Hacks here. Last week I was working on a project that involved interaction between different bots via orchestrator queues. And the queue items had data from supplier delivery nodes. These delivery nodes had some header information as well as some item information. And because there could be any number of items per delivery node, I had to serialize this information and store it as a string on a queue item. All good. I went for JSON serialize on one side and deserialize on the other side. I found a lot of good information about this part of the process on both YouTube and on forums. But then came the complexity. I did not only need to deserialize and read some information in the JSON format. In some cases, I also had to modify these J tokens from the J arrays and then push them further in the process, in this case, to a new queue for items. So I began to ask myself the question in the title of this video and I got stuck. Pretty much all the tutorials I had seen so far were stopping after deserializing the string and reading the information. But in a real-world project, we often need to cater for the end-to-end -end process and further process the info in the JToken itself. So my first question was, can I actually modify the JToken itself? Or do I have to convert it to another object type, edit that object, and afterwards serialize back to JSON format? Hey guys, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you won't miss out on future content. Thanks. In my use case, I have a list of dictionaries that a dispatcher bot is serializing and pushing on to a queue. So for each item of the delivery node, I am creating a dictionary and I'm adding all the fields at the item level to this dictionary and at the end I am adding this dictionary to the list and further on I am adding this list of dictionaries to the items field of the queue and I am serializing the list of dictionaries. So this is the dispatcher bot and on the other side there is a performer bot uh, which is pulling items from the queue. It is deserializing the items field we get a JSON array out of that and it is doing some checks and based on the results of the checks it could need to log an error message either at the header level or at the item level of the delivery node. And if the error is at the item level, it means we have to log in this message in the serialized data. So I asked myself if I can add the error message to the J array that results from the deserialize activity, or if I have to somehow convert that back to the list of dictionaries that I initially had, add the error message, and then serialize back to JSON. Because this use case involves huge volumes and every process execution second is precious, I try to make it work directly in the J array. The way I was able to make it work was to loop through the J array and use a round brackets syntax. So this is where I am adding the error message to the J token, the J token being one item of the J array. Now, trying to use the item variable from the for each loop does not save the new data in the J array variable. So I've used an index to track the position in the J array for each step of the for each loop. This is the int counter. So I am adding a new attribute called item error text to the J token inside the JSON array and I am adding a value, a string basically, the item error text. So this is how uh, the data can be saved directly in the JToken, which is part of the J array, 
and later on when I will serialize this back and add it to the queue item the information will be inside the JSON array. That was it. I hope I was able to both answer the question in the title of the video as well as put it into context and that this context might give you some new ideas for your bots. If you know any other ways to edit JSON arrays or JTokens, I would really appreciate if you would mention them in the comment section below. Thanks and see you next time. Hey, if you are getting value out of this video, could you please hit the like button? Thanks.